Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Cobra Stinger, and Driver. So let's get this started! So before we get this started, big shout out to DJ Seed Collectibles and my buddy Luke, who lent me this for this review so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging gotta love this artwork looks freaking awesome there's a couple of cobra stingers here we got a cobra ferret just launching off into the air explosions man that's pretty wicked we got the cobra symbol down here gi joe classified series you got a nice window of the driver here on the top you have a cobra symbol 120 in the line and on this side of the packaging you have a very nice portrait of the driver here and on the back of the packaging here you have a nice display of all the accessories the stinger the driver you have some zoom in aspects of the cobra stinger got some boring stuff on the bottom of course and on this side of the packaging you have a qr code 120 like i said before so let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. I got my trusty scalpel. Let's go in from the side. One piece of tape. And this is gonna be very familiar, uh, like the vamp. So there is a big tray. And I apologize for the angle as I don't have much space here. So it just slides out just like the vamp. We have the a box with all the accessories and instructions. So here's a quick shot of the stinger and the driver in the cardboard imprisonment. So let's get all this stuff out of the packaging. So I removed most of the contents. Um, the wheels are taped here on the back, so we'll remove those. There is a massive Cobra symbol on the inside of this packaging, very cool. So here's a shot of all the stuff out of the packaging. We have instructions. I'll make sure I'll read that. <laughs> so let's take the uh, plastic off the stinger. There you have it. The wheels. Looks like we have some accessories here. Lots of little bits. We got the turret. And let's see what's in this box. And we have missiles. And here is the foot locker. We got some blast effects. We got this here. And we got more blast effects. So let's put this puppy together. So it looks like you put these on anyway. I don't think the treads go in any specific direction. We'll do a comparison with the vamp later on in this video and we'll have a vintage comparison. So it looks like it just fits on this kind of bar on the back, just clips right on. And I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff is interchangeable with the vamp. Maybe the doors, I'm not really too sure. So we got the turret. This kind of pegs on the top. Simple, simple. We got the missiles. They just go on to these little uh, dumbbell type of pegs. And we have this load of accessories for the stinger. We got the shovel, just like the vamp, clips on like that. And we have the roof, very, very simple to put together. And we have this kind of spiky thing that fits right on the front. Yeah, that looks pretty deadly. 
And it looks like we have all the accessories for the driver. And uh, we have a fire extinguisher that clips on it, just like the vamp. And there's a little clip like right in here. And it's colored yellow a lot. Yeah, I think the vamp one was red, I believe. This clips on like that. Very cool. And we have this kind of engine cover. And what I missed in my vamp review, and a lot, I think a lot of people did, is that the that the hood opens up and the engine does come out, I believe. Um, I can't get my fingers in there. Oh, there it goes. So the engine does come off, which is really cool. So I'm pretty sure you might be able to swap these out with the vamp. That's very awesome. And we have a winch here with the string. I think the, uh, the vamp has the exact same thing and it's colored red. You can see the hook. That's colored red right here. Very cool. So we got some added details here. We got this kind of engine thing that fits on the top and there's some fine detail print added to this. Check that out. You can pause the screen if you want to read that. <laughs> Very nice added detail. So that goes right on the top. I think it's on. And we got all these blast effects. I've, we've seen these before with scrap iron. I don't know if I really need to, to take these out. I don't know. <laughs> these are all scrap irons, blast effects. Uh, I might just leave them in the, I might, I might just take out just the blast effects that are backwards. We all know that, uh, just to take a look, but uh, I don't know if I would really want to take them out. So let's go ahead and take a look at some details of the Stinger. Um, let's go ahead and take a little bit finer detailed look. We got some cool print action here on the side of the door. So we got some more print action right here. Check that out. Very cool. Got some yellow details down at the bottom here. And on the front here, you can see that there is a, uh, a hook, like I mentioned before, in red. And on the back, or on the, on the front bumper here, we got a ram bar, got some chain detail there. That looks really cool. This is a working winch uh, that you can pull out. We got a nice little, little loop clip thing here. Uh, light kind of silver details. Uh, we all know this uh, windshield does pop out, so you can see inside. So here's one detail I missed during the review is the windshield is very tinted and you can barely see inside. We got some armored doors, that is awesome. Another cool print detail right here. Same uh, yellow highlight down at the uh, foot uh, step. And this is all in gray and uh, has some vent detail. <laughs> Turbo, we got a Cobra symbol there, that is awesome. So we got some foot pegs here. This is what the, was clipped on on the back. You got a hook to tow the HMS. So I really love the colors, black, gray, and red. These work very well together, of course. Classic Cobra vehicle. Very awesome. The a turret moves up and down, the missile launching turret. That is very cool and it does pivot. We've got the rear view mirrors that are uh, reflective, which is really cool. So here is a zoom in shot of the Stinger. It got some nice details of the inside. Um, I'm pretty sure these are printed on. Nice, awesome red highlight. And we got nice cool leather seat detail. Very cool. I almost forgot that the doors are on a hinge and they can open up like gull wing doors. Pretty freaking sweet. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Stinger driver. So here's all the accessories for the driver. They are exactly the same mold as the Cobra Officer that we got last year or two years ago. 
So let's go do a quick rundown of the accessories for the driver. Here is uh, one of his machine guns, same exact one. We have a uh, sheath here for the one of the rifles. We have this Luger looking pistol. We have two different magazines. We have this machine gun with a cool red handle on it. And we got this tiny little knife with a silver blade and a red handle. That is pretty cool. And it's not as bendy, it's a little bendy, but not as bad as some other ones I've seen in the past. And we have the helmet in uh, this light gray and dark gray. Looks really cool. So here is the driver for the Stinger. Like I was saying, this is exactly the same as the Cobra Officer. So here is the Cobra Officer all gear geared up. Um, it's the exact same thing. We might as well just uh, gear them up as we speak. Check that out. I really like the uh, red uh, mouthpiece. It gives it a really, really nice detail. Red Cobra symbol. I love the little red highlights on this figure. It is freaking awesome. This is probably one of the reasons I would get the Stinger just to get this uh, just the Stinger driver. I really love the vintage one. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. So let's gear them up. And I'll probably either skip this part or speed it up. <laughs> So there you have it guys, there is the driver all geared up. Looks freaking awesome. So there's one thing I noticed with the Stinger driver. There is a supposedly a, um, supposed to be a scope on the side here. Just like the uh, officer, there's supposed to be a scope on this rifle. But this one seems uh, to be missing or just not included because uh, there is a uh, of course, there is a place on the belt to put the scope, but I don't believe it came with one. Um, I took all the accessories out one little bit at a time, and that's really, really unfortunate that they just kind of skipped out on that scope. And for a bonus unboxing, let's go ahead and open up the Cobra Python Patrol Officer. Why the heck not? I haven't opened up this repaint, and it took me a little... A little while to get it because I wanted to get it on sale and you got to get a deal, right? So there is the Cobra Officer Python Patrol. So there you have it. There is the three officers I have. Um, that is awesome. So let's go ahead and do a vintage comparison. So we got a smorgasbord of Cobra Officers and let's go ahead and uh, do a vintage comparison with the vintage driver. We'll have the vintage Stinger out in just a moment uh, mine this would this version I have another one but this one is slightly a little bit yellow so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details that uh, are, are carried over from the vintage like the black web gear red Cobra symbol gray helmet and these are one of my favorite kind of army builders they are a little difficult to get considering they are drivers and they only came with the stinger um, this is awesome because vintage versions never came with any accessories, not to my knowledge. But yeah, as you can see that this is a nice homage to the vintage version from Real American Hero. Very cool figure. I really enjoy. Um, that's why I was saying before, one of the main reasons why I would get a Stinger is because of the driver and the uh, gray Cobra officer. So we got the regular officer and we got the Python patrol. Well, I might as well bring that out. So here is the vintage stinger. And uh, I know this is probably uh, just a, almost a shell. It has the doors and that's about it. Maybe the, uh, the back bumper type of thing. But unfortunately I do not have the turret for my stinger, but it's still very cool. And here's a little bit of a comparison. There's a lot more gray details in the classified version. There's one thing I would like to have is maybe a Cobra symbol right here or a sticker uh, on the front. And another thing I wanted to add is the uh, the Cobra HMS 
Um, I wanted to add this to the review. Thanks, thanks to Luke uh, for lending me all of this to do this review. You got you rock, dude. So there's one thing. There is a hitch on the back, so you can put the HMS on the back. So I got the uh, hitch, the hook on. It's a little tricky with this, uh, you know, platform that's on the back, and this does lift up so it could tow the HMS. Very cool. And here's a quick comparison with the Vamp and the Cobra Stinger. Like I said, the same exact molds, just with some different kind of color highlights, of course, black and gray versus green and black. As you can see on the hood, there are different kind of adaptations that makes it look different. But overall, it's the exact same mold. Pretty cool. So there you have it, guys. There is my review of the Cobra Stinger and Driver and with the vintage comparison. I really hope you enjoyed watching my videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers. Again, a shout out to DJC Collectibles and Luke who hooked me up with this review. Much appreciated. Stay hydrated, as Lucas would say. Yojo and Cobra!